What's up everyone, Danny Lightning here. Today we're going to be checking out the Lamborghini Landsdor concept. We will do a stage 6 maxed out shift and tune, a stage 5 shift and tune, a live racing setup, and we're going to do a review on the car as well. And if you guys like CSR2 content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go ahead and start off with the maxed out shift and tune. Huge shout out to YouTube Rasho Speed the King. There's a link to his channel in this video's description. And if you got all the stage six parts and all the fusions, this is how we're going to tune it, shift it, and drive it. Nitrous or overboost all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0. Tire pressure 8 psi. Dyno of a 7.438. To drive this car, we're going to let go of the gas right about number one, instantly shift into second gear, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth. And that's really all she wrote right there. Very easy to drive. Then we got a 7.433. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fit this car back to stage five parts only and do a stage five shift and tune. So if you have all the fusions installed and all the stage five parts, this is how we're going to drive it, shift it and tune it. Nitrous or overboost all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0. Tires 8 PSI. Dyno 8.374. To drive this car, we're going to let go of the gas right about number one to launch, instantly shift into second. Hit your nitrous, all the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth gear. And again, very easy car to drive, and that's about all she wrote. So let's see what we ran. We got a 8.365. All right, so we found a little live racing setup for this guy. This is going to be a low performance point high evo setup. So you don't want to beat the dyno time or the lobby time. We'll explain that a little bit more in a minute, but let's go ahead and show you what parts to put on and how to tune it and then how to drive it. Motor, stock, battery, stock, inverter, stock, overboost, stage three, body, stage three. Tires, stage three. Transmission, stage five. Nitrous or overboost, all the way to the right. Final drive, 3.11. Tire pressure, 8 psi. Dyno, 11.189. To drive it, you have to get a perfect start and make the needle kick back. Instantly shift into second. Hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. Third, fourth, fifth. And that's all she wrote. There we ran an 11.174 and it is beating the dyno. So you might want to downshift once or twice so you don't beat the dyno time before you cross the finish line. All right, so remember, we do not want to run the car faster than 11.2. We want to be able to stay in the 11.2 lobby. If we run faster than 11.2, the game is going to pick us up and move us into a different lobby where we may have a hard time winning live races. So 11.2 is where we want to be. All right, so it's got pretty good acceleration. It's got about 350 miles per hour on the top speed. It's doing 7.4s, which is pretty fast. It's not much of a dyno beater, but there is a live racing setup for it. So I think it's a pretty cool car overall. It's not the world's best car, but it's not that bad. I, I kind of like it. Um, it's not going to be my top choice for a live racer, but if I didn't have anything else, I would definitely level this up for the live racing setup. It's a little bit weird as far as the live racing setup launch. Now on stage five and stage six, it's got the same tune. The tune doesn't change, which is really cool. And you don't have to really worry too much about the launch. You just get a good start, shift in the second nitrous and bam, you're good to go. But for the live racing setup, it requires you to get that perfect start with the needle to kick back or it runs about a 10th of a second too slow. So bottom line is, I think it's a really cool car, but there are better cars in the game. I'm probably not going to level mine up because I don't really need it for anything. But hey, if I didn't already have a good car, a good fast car or a good live racer, I would definitely level this one up. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you next time. All right. 
And if you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channels, some ways to help support channels and stuff like that. And I think that came out wrong, but you guys know what I mean. Catch you later.